But uh, today, being March 10th, is uh, Mario Day. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. The world celebrates Mario Day, man. I think we can talk about that for a few minutes. Doesn't compare you know, to Batman Day, but still like it. When's Batman Day? Is there pretty sure about that, that, when's Batman Day? Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure there is a Batman Day because I usually end up posting on it. Nice. September 21. Okay. Batman Day. Why is it September 21? Is there a reason? Am I missing I something obvious? The Dark Knight's 80 years. Okay. I guess it must be yeah, but the birthday. Gotcha. Uh, celebration. Yeah. 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 Say okay. Mario Day March 10th is because it's M A R 10. I guess it kind of spells Mario. Oh yeah. Okay. Smart. These these you know these gamers, man. They know. Yeah, recently, I got a my commercial agent emailed me to um, uh, be like, "Hey, there's a, a Nintendo audition. We just need um, we just need to know like you know uh, all you need to do to just tell us like if you like Mario or not and what the and so I was like, "Who the hell? <laughs> was like, who yeah, doesn't man. like come on, when when you what's your favorite Mario game?" I was like, "Well, I had the NES and I played the pixelated Super Mario Brothers, but when Super Mario World came out and the SNES and you get to like hit the little question mark and then the egg comes out and Yoshi hatches and you start riding Yoshi for the first time, I'm like, best moment ever. Yeah. Best moment of my life." <laughs> I think Mario 3 was the one I played the most. And I never oh, really... Oh, yeah, the raccoon flying one. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. I never had a SNES. I was always like the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis one for people who call it Genesis weirdos. Talking of which, have you managed to see Sonic yet? Go I've ahead. not seen it, no. No. It's, Did they I do a really, good job? Yeah. Pro- yeah. Yeah, Jim Carrey's got brought the old school back. He's brought the mask into Dr. Robotnik. It's so good. Okay. Yeah, really okay. interesting. But um, the whole thing's really, really good. <laughs> then I was sat down with my brother-in-law the other day. I was like, oh, yeah, my friends wrote that. I was like, what? I just, yeah, they've just been writing, like, forever. But this is the thing about perseverance. Like, he was like, they've been writing forever. They didn't have much luck. And then all of a sudden, boom, they've landed this huge commercial contract. That's what it is. Sonic the Hedgehog. And they've got Jim Carrey attached. And it's set up for, uh, they could do a lot of these. Yeah, you know, you know, the, bring in the Tails to the next massive. one. Well, yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything, but like, go and watch it. You will see the setups like, gotcha, for later gotcha. in life. And there is an end credit scene that everyone needs to watch. But um, do you need but, to know uh, the that, games? That, like, if you don't the, know the if you don't know the games, will you still enjoy it as much, do you think? Yeah, the story's so fun. I guess it's a really, it's one of those, you know, when you go to commercial um, films and you're kind of like, yeah, that was fun. You know what I mean? This one's like, oh, that was really fun. That one's more that kind of fun, you know? Okay. It's like, that's great. I, I like these characters. This is great. Um, nice. Really well written. And like, I just think that I love that story, that perseverance. Like these two writers have just been literally in the middle of Hollywood, just going, 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 like really failing, 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 like uh, having like many success in Indies, but not, so, and then all of a sudden, boom. And they're like, right, this is it. And like, now they'll be like overnight success story in, in a lot oh. of people's eyes, right? And it's it's, been like it's, a decade, it's, it's the work. through line for everybody, right? It's like when you looked at when Barry Jenkins won uh, Best Oscar for Moonlight, but then nobody looks at the fact that he did like 10 or, or 12 short films before he even was given anything close to an opportunity or a look in for that level of, mm-hmm. of project. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's, mm-hmm. it's, yeah. It, it's just life. That's the truth of life, right? Like, why would you? Why would you trust someone with something of that magnitude if they've not got the experience? Like, I'm going to go with someone who's been plumbing for 10 years versus someone who's never picked up a plunger for more than five minutes. It's a no-brainer. Big time. And that was a very indirect way of looping that back to Mario. That's really good. Yeah, you're getting good at this. Yeah. (laughs) That has nothing to do with me. That has nothing to do with me. I don't think. (laughs) 